no other way to put this other than a horror story from the high seas. Passengers aboard a Carnival Cruise Line say they were tossed around by strong winds and huge waves, and this lasted for hours. Fox 26 News reporter Rich Rodriguez shows us what they experienced on the last day of their journey from the Bahamas to South Carolina. You can't just take 5,000 people and sail them into a storm and hope we make it through it. Like, that makes no sense at all. Bill Hessler saw the storm approaching near the Bahamas and captured it on video. He can't believe what happened on the Carnival cruise ship sailing home to South Carolina. There was one wave that crashed into the boat at about 2 a.m. that sounded like the whole boat snapped in half, and that's when the boat really started filling with water. Chris Legault says on the last day, the water got choppy and uncomfortable. And the deeper into the night we went, the, the more dangerous and, and choppy it got. Um, my wife, and uh, she was just out of her mind, uh, especially when stuff started to, to fall around us. The waves sent dishes flying and crashing to the floor. Liquor bottles took a dive off the shelves. Cartons of cigarettes were scattered in the shop. Hessler says there was water everywhere. I mean, when you see water coming up and, and flooding two full floors and everybody on those, those decks on those floors had to evacuate those floors and come up and sit in a lounge because they were full of water. Legault believes the captain made a big mistake. I would have much rather seen him stay in safer waters, not just for the comfort, but for the safety of the guests on board. Hessler is just happy to be off the boat. It's like, pinch me, am I still here? I mean, I, I, I thought we are we are done, honestly. Hessler believes Carnival was more concerned about returning to port than the safety of its passengers. Rich Rodriguez, Fox 26 News. And we did reach out to Carnival Cruise Line in Miami, but so far we've gotten no response. Thanks.